In Armored Core's Silent Line, we are introduced to a new kind of booster. This is the Wake, a part that takes up both back slots. In return, we sometimes get a modest bump in booster power. Why only sometimes? Well, it's complicated. How about we test it out? Here we are using the Wake with the Ox002 booster. Moving pretty quick. Let's say we want to go really fast though. Let's combine the Wake with the fastest booster in the game, the Fleet. And suddenly we're going slower. Despite switching to a much faster booster, we are now going 420 kph, which is 6 kph slower than our previous booster. How the heck does this make any sense? Well, it turns out Silent Line has a cap on booster power. That is to say, any amount of booster power above a certain point is straight up wasted. From this graph, it looks like the Ox002 and Gull are the fastest boosters to use with the Wake. However, this graph doesn't show the full story. If we correct for the minor differences in booster weight, we find something interesting. The top five boosters are hitting the exact same speed despite having different boost power. This highlights the existence of a cap on booster power. However, we also need to consider that the wake is pretty dang heavy and this also has an impact on speed. This graph shows side by side the speed comparison of using the wake versus just leaving your back units empty. As you can see, both the fleet and the UN-8 are faster without the wake so there's no reason to use them together. The two Drake boosters are also slower for some reason. This is somewhat unexpected, but determining why this occurs is a bit outside the scope of this video. That leaves us with six boosters that actually see a benefit when using the wake. However, if we're being realistic, we only have two boosters that we'd actually want to use. The UN-1 and UN-4 are budget boosters, not ones you'd usually pick outside of the early game. We generally won't want to bother with them, as the Ox E9 outclasses them in terms of both power and energy use. The Mare and Gull boosters are both high quality, but as revealed in the previous graph, they provide no extra speed when compared to the Ox-002. They also use slightly more energy than the Ox-002. That leaves us with the Ox-002 and Ox E9 boosters. When combined with the Wake, they are able to rival the speed of the fleet while using significantly less energy, which is a useful niche, but not one that is obvious at first glance. In conclusion, the Wake should not be considered a unit for reaching unparalleled speeds. However, when combined with the appropriate booster, it can provide a unique combination of speed and energy efficiency. That energy can be used to fuel energy weapons or simply maintain high speeds for longer durations. It's worth noting that this booster power cap is not observable in any other Gen 3 game. Later Gen 3 titles have this cap removed and the wake, renamed the Pegasus, will always increase your booster speed. This brings it in line with player expectations. However, in later games you also have to deal with the extra energy drain and booster heat this unit adds, requiring you to build around it in entirely new ways.